They call Trinity Farms this little community a subdivision. Mm -hmm. We're not really a subdivision. We're little mini farms. We can't afford 25, 50, 100 acre farms. We've been here 10 years. Uh, I have the luxury of being the recipient of many letters over two years. We've lived out here now 20, going 24 years now. Okay. I'd say about half the people out here got a letter and, hmm. and are on that list of violations. And I don't need a neighbor of mine to tell me that, hey, you got to get rid of that car, you got to do this, you got to do that. Uh, this is not the first letter that's been written. Another letter said that anybody that comes into Trinity Farm subdivision, if you see that all the residents, if you see a car out here of anyone that doesn't live here, you should immediately call the Sheriff's Department. No one's allowed to have guests, friends. I know where I've got set in my driveway. Everybody else knows what to got in the driveway. We've because of that letters. Taurus sitting there that has brand new tires on mm -hmm. it, there's no rust on it, there's no dents or pings on it, mm -hmm. uh, transmission went out. This is a list of everybody who ever had uh, the bad things on the property. Because it's not tagged, I'm one of these ordinances that mm -hmm. she thinks are needed. Out here in the middle of nowhere. Junk cars and untagged automobiles and uh, they even got George Woods, a county manager, name on here, and the code enforcement officer, they got their own there. Lane County Commissioners, uh, uh, the district attorney's on here. And do it in right the on? name of the right sheriff's department. Yeah. And, and Crime and Stoppers. When, after, I think it was the next day this came out to us, the president of Crime Stopper was out here. And he drove out here and he talked to the people out there in the back and talked to Roger and he talked to me. And uh, said he didn't want me to know about that man, but it wasn't, wasn't them that sent it out. Okay. And I knew that everybody else out here didn't have a clue. And sure enough, the signs went up and I knew they didn't have a clue. Mm -hmm. I seen Roger sign. I said, well, it's good enough for Roger. It's good enough for me. So I made me a sign. <laughs> Crime Stoppers is getting flipped off and all that. So. You know, that, that ain't going to work in my place. Mm -hmm. And like I put on that sign there, you know, if you don't like the look at our looks, either turn your head or leave. <laughs> so we've been doing our part to, to try and mm -hmm. let everybody know that Crime Stoppers didn't have anything mm -hmm. to do with this. Crime Stoppers does what it's supposed to, how it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. I could not get letter really, really messed up. Thank God. I knew what was in my driveway. But what really messed me up worst of all was when I did find out it wasn't from Crime Stoppers, and it was just from the neighbor down the road here. And our road is not maintained by the state. It's a private road. Mm -hmm. Everything out here is private. I say the best thing they can do is take care of what's around their house and leave everybody else alone. Friends down here, uh, a couple months back, had a friend come in that drives a semi. He parked it down here, called the sheriff's on it, because there was a semi sitting down here. They're steadily calling the police on anything and everything, wasting taxpayer money on a regular basis. I moved out of Charlotte in the middle of the madness and the chaos to be in the country, to live a country type life as most everyone out here has. Everybody out here takes care of each other, helps each other, bends over backwards for each other. Yeah, people that don't know each other help each other out here on a regular basis. And then we're stuck with something like this. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, if anybody needs help, everybody's there. It comes from being country and being rural. Mm -hmm. Out here, uh, you can't drive up and down these dirt roads out here without everybody you passing waving at you. Out here, if anybody needs anything, everybody help. <laughs> When the weather's bad, if you're broke down, whatever, if you're stuck, everybody stops. Mm -hmm. You need a hand with something. You're out in the road doing something. I don't care what you're doing. People stop to help. That's just the way it is out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if somebody's working on the road, the next thing you know, there's a bunch of people working on the road. Or they're bringing the guy on the tractor gas cans to keep him going. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's nonstop. We all like it that way, just fine. Mm -hmm.